All right, I can dig yo. So let's let's keep this thing moving and let's move on to the safeties, the top five safeties. Now, again, this is a this is a position. This is why we a lot of times pair um, corners with safeties and just do it as secondary because there are some guys that can move from one side to the other. But we're just going to mm-hmm. try to focus on the safeties right now. Um, I'll start at uh, top five for me is uh, Jamie Robinson, safety out of Florida State. Uh, got the size for me, a little slower, but super experienced. And he was productive all throughout college. So the consistency and being productive in multiple positions definitely helps out. Uh, Sydney Brown at four. 211 pounds, somebody I need under six foot, which, you know, obviously I, I've said I have an issue, but I'm good with it. The speed is good, super athletic, very impressive. Um, and, and just just uh, just impressive is not only with speed, but it's just explosiveness. Couple that with that size coming in there, and that's somebody that I, th- I can see going from sideline to sideline. Uh, at three for me, uh, guy has natural ability. At ideal size for a strong safety, 6'1", 209. Uh, Jordan Battle out of Alabama. Been t- talking about this guy for the last couple years. Um, mm-hmm. Interested to see when he was going to come out. And um, and it, it, he has not disappointed. And I'm, I'm eager to see the transition he's able to make from the college to the pros and see if he can continue that success. Um, my number two out of Texas A&M, Antonio Johnson at 6'2", 198. Um Quality prospect, excellent overall, you know, at, athletic freak, just good speed, good hands, can tackle, you know what I mean? Just tough. This is a guy that I would love for Washington to kind of maybe take a look at, maybe potentially second round, early second round, or see if we if we trade mm-hmm. up or see, see how we do. Um, he's somebody, because we, we need secondary corners and safeties, but I think this is somewhere huge. And, or I would love to get the number one guy, for me, which is Brian Branch out of Alabama, six foot one, uh, one ninety. Not as fast as maybe some of these guys, but I mean, he's a quality pro prospect. You've seen him on uh, uh, on the tape. I mean, this guy just—he has the quickness. He's disciplined. He and he, he's been taught by you know what I mean. Uh, it's too, uh, had the tutelage yeah. of uh, the great Nick Saban, so you know the kind of prospect you're getting with this, and the fact that you have two safeties in you know top five top ten is i mean it says something about them and what they're bringing to the table man so what do you uh what do you think about that and what's your uh, top five uh so i have the exact same five people i just have one change uh so number five for me is jamie robinson florida state uh for everything you said uh i love what he brings to the table and like you said it's a guy that's been productive for a while Mm -hmm. uh Here's my change, though. Number four, I have Jordan Battle. Uh, And it's just, for me, I think he should have came out last year. And he was eligible to come out last year. Came back and kind of had a down year, uh, which knocked him down. And down year from what he was the year before. He was still a very good safety. Uh, Number three for me is Sidney Brown uh, Mm -hmm. from Illinois, which is crazy to think. Uh, We have them with a top five safety a top two corner last year. They had a top five safety. They've got another safety here uh, in kind of that like 11 to 15 range for a lot of people. Uh, But Illinois is doing something with some DBs here uh, and you love to see it. Uh, And then number one and two are the same for me. I got Antonio Johnson two and Brian branch one Uh, branch is probably the only first round guy out of all of them. Mm -hmm. But again, a very solid safety group. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and you don't get uh, th- this type of caliber of safeties every single year. So when no. you see this, you're like, Ooh, okay. Okay. And, and, and in any one of these, I think if you needed one, I think you would be good picking one of these up, but let's go right outside that top five uh, and look at some of these other guys. I mean, I know you got the Christopher Smith from Georgia. You got the, the Brandon Josephs um, at Notre Dame. Um, you talked about that other, uh, Illinois boy and Jertavius Martin. Uh, somebody I've been interested in, and I've talked to you about this guy before. Trey Dean the third, safety out of Florida, 6'2, 200. Not as fast, but the thing that gets is, is fluidity. 
He's got the speed. Mm-hmm. He's got the quick feet uh, to defend those slot uh, receivers. Good on man with them. Nice, nice job breaking down when it comes to tackling. Like Trey Dean is somebody that if you've been watching them, those games, he leaps off the page. Mm-hmm. He's somebody I think you can, it would be a steal to get later on in the draft. I, I He's not obviously oh, up yeah. here with some of these guys, but I, I love him. Um, what, where do you uh, look in outside of that, that top five list? Who, uh, who else are you looking at? Uh, so number six for me, I'm higher on a little higher on him than most. Uh, JL Skinner from Boise state. Oh, I, yeah. I like a lot of what he brings to the table. Um, and he can he can kind of play either safety role in my opinion. He's physical, so you can get him in that that box safety kind of that Jamal Adams role. Uh, I would I would probably start him there and work on his coverage skills a bit more to put him in that that free safety role. Uh, but I like the potential he has with him and what he brings to the table. Uh, number seven for me is Brandon Joseph from Notre Dame. Uh, I really like Joseph's tape. Uh, and number eight, Christopher Smith from Georgia. Uh, this kind of the six through 10, 11, even maybe even 12 range for me is very similar. Uh, they're all guys that could work into that starting role. You probably want to start them as like that third safety, uh, and have them work their way in, uh, number nine for me and number 10, it's a couple big 10 guys. I got Ronnie Hickman from Ohio state and Jair Brown from Penn state. I I got to see a lot of these guys the past few years, yes. uh, and they both played very well every time I saw them. So, uh, yeah, uh, probably third, maybe fourth round guys for them. Uh, but again, guys that are going to compete for for playing time very early. Yeah, yeah, and then that's I'm excited to see. I mean, like I've said before, Washington is in dire need of of getting this position safeties corners free straight to strong safety so i'm eager to see where we go even if the branch or battle or the you know chase uh, mm-hmm. um brown uh, from illinois any if either if those guys go early i want to look at a skinner i want to look at you know trey dean or jair brown like i want to look at some of these guys later because mm-hmm. you still can get quality uh athletes and great contribution from these guys so uh, I'm eager to see that. Let's real quick hit some some of just the sleepers. Anybody you got down that maybe uh, is definitely going to be probably a day three guy, but maybe we'll crack a, a front line. Uh, yeah, so I got three here. I like Daniel Scott from Cal. Uh, mm-hmm. He's a guy that uh, I watched a little bit on him and I liked what I saw. Uh, and then my other ones, I got Javarius Owens from Houston. Okay. And my last one would be just this school pumps out DBs all the time, especially zone DBs. Kayvon Merriweather from Iowa. I like a lot of what okay. he brings to the table, uh, especially in like a heavy zone defense. Kayvon Merriweather. I got to take a look at that. I don't know these guys. I can dig that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, no, I have. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at some of those guys that you see. <laughs> For me, it's right after that top ten. It's like ah, uh, drop. You know, it falls yeah, deep it, down on that list. Those were three of the like maybe four or five that we didn't name that I've I've watched. Right. So I was just like, okay, throw those guys. <laughs> right, yeah, I've seen this guy. Right, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I I mean, you can't go wrong with you know Tyke uh, Tyke Smith from Georgia. Um, I, mm-hmm. I like I like what that's going on. Kendrick Duncan out of uh, Louisville. I know that you know that defense mm. was underrated, but it was it was very physical, very you know tough, especially at the line of scrimmage. So I like I like seeing what he brings to the table. But for the most part, man, ah, the, a lot of these names is just blur. Like it's just like ah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So, and a lot of them are very similar in game style, right? So, exactly. exactly. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to separate large right. chunks of the safety class, especially. Right. So yeah, but these guys, yeah, those guys towards the end are definitely day threes, definitely mm-hmm. fifth, sixth, seventh, and potentially undrafted free agents. So we shall definitely see. Best of luck to them. Uh, mm-hmm. And it, it's excited to, you know, they're they're in the hunt. It's starting to even be in that conversation, even if you're not able uh, to make a mm-hmm. team or anything like that. And- 